What's up YouTube? So today uh, I'm going to be filming from my truck and that is primarily due to this whole uh, quarantine thing going on over here. Um, the house is kind of a madhouse right now so I didn't feel like trying to isolate myself to a certain room. It's too loud and it would be irritating in the video so I'm just going to make this video right here. So uh, let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna start this video with the Max Clip uh, Signature Series uh, Micro Tuck. That is this one right here. Uh, this is for my Sig Sauer uh, P365 right here. This is no mag for all of you safety Nazis right there. Sorry, I'm looking at the screen, not looking at the camera. Sorry about that. Try not to aim this at any neighbors. Uh, this is my everyday carry holster right here. Let's see if you can see that logo made in Texas right there. This is the Max Clip Hybrid inside the waistband holster. Um, this is the Black Gator horsehide uh, leather piece here. I've had this holster for about, I want to say I got it in January of this year. Um, so I wear it probably three days a week, you know, I, you know, I can't wear it at work. So, um, you know, it gets, it's had that amount of use and this is basically what it looks like, um, at the end of about four months. So it still looks pretty new. Uh, I've had no issues with it. It fits extremely comfortably, a lot more than what a lot of people think. A lot of people think that, uh, leather like this is not comfortable but it actually uh, is this is my favorite holster of all the holsters I've ever had so this has the FBI cant like this you can actually order this clip where it's straight for appendix carry but I don't usually well I never actually carry appendix carry so I got the typical uh, FBI cant so that you can wear it at a three o'clock or a four o'clock position this clip is the 1.5 inch clip they do have a 1.75 inch clip uh, available for like uh, duty belts and stuff like that. So this piece, this Kydex piece here is interchangeable. Um, I don't know exactly how wide a variety it can change if you can put a Glock 17 uh, Kydex piece on this size holster. I don't know if that's possible but it is interchangeable. Also on all of their holsters they do have lifetime warranties. I'm not exactly certain of what that means what part is warranted but what i have seen is that if uh, the kydex chips or you know brakes or whatever pieces of the leather stitching whatever comes apart something like that i do know that that is all uh, under warranty so that's really really good okay so probably what you all care about is its retention this is the sig p365 and yes it is clear There's no mag nothing in it sorry about the poor uh filming i'm trying to do this in my truck with just one person i have no way to uh, mount this camera anywhere so um you know this is obviously not inside my pants but i mean this is really smooth so i will admit it does seem like it's coming out a bit too smooth but that's mainly because it doesn't have the pressure of being in my belt loop so when it is in your belt it, it it's not quite this easy to come out it doesn't like it's not like it falls out or anything it's tight but not too tight to where you're having to pull too hard to get it out it is actually really really perfect and I know this holster might seem really stiff or you know it's still completely like flat it's not hasn't there's no curvature well not much curvature of where it's bent around my body uh, quite yet but to be honest with you I mean even day one like right when I've started wearing it I mean it it didn't seem like it really needed a break-in period. It fit really comfortably. You know, you put it on, you go out, and I don't feel it. I don't really notice it there. You know, we've been under quarantine here, so I don't really go out. You know, I've been going to work and coming back home, and, you know, I don't really go out or do anything, so I don't have a whole lot of reasons to, to carry because I'm mostly in the house. Uh, you know, I always have something in the truck, but that's not concerning in this video. Oh my God, shut up, phone. Um, but yeah, I mean, this has been a really great carry holster. I will continue to use these, uh, this brand. And 
I also like that this is out of Mansfield, Texas. Mansfield, Texas is about a 30 minute drive for me. So, you know, when I first ordered these, I knew they were from Texas, but, and I'm always supporting Texas stuff, but yeah, it's 30 minutes from my house. So that's All right, holster number two. This is the outside the waistband micro slide holster in signature series. It is fitted for a uh, Smith & Wesson uh, 40 uh, Gen 1. Uh, hang on a second guys, let me remove this pistol. This one here is um, is another white hat holsters holster that I'm going to review. And I'm mainly showing it because I'm reviewing the other holster, but this is part of the same family. Uh, this is essentially brand new. I, I've worn it just around the house to try to break it in, but I haven't actually really worn it out in the wild. I bought this specifically for um, a sidearm uh, while hunting. I, I realized that a 40 cal is not the best caliber for hunting, but it is something that I have, and so I got a holster for it uh, for outside the waistband. So what this is, this is a, like I said, Smith & Wesson 40. And what I like about this, this is actually fitted for the uh, TLR 3. So yeah, it is an old pistol with an old light, but um, you know, not, oh, man, that phone is just driving me nuts. Um, this, uh, not a lot of holsters I see are, are fitted with a TLR 3. It's kind of an older light and it's an old pistol. I'm not really gonna buy a new light for it. You know, I'm, I'm uh, in the process of, uh, getting ready to buy a, a, a 357 so I'm gonna roll with that and um, for right now I'm, I'm just using that 40 and I wanted a nice holster for it so I kind of want to show you guys how well um, the light the addition of the light uh, fits inside this mold which is pretty cool all right so I'm gonna try to get a little better angle here so this is the pistol itself with the light I don't know, you can't see it flashing. All right, and then this is holster. Great, this is a brand new holster, really. Uh, and it fits right in like a glove. So White Hat Holsters has like a bunch of different uh, pre-made uh, Kydex uh, colors. This one is the Forest Camo. Again, I got it for hunting, so it's, you know, it's appropriate and the uh, leather itself is just a tactical black cowhide uh, leather outside the waistband so it you know has these belt loops um the only thing i will say due to the length of of you know from one loop to the other is just be aware of that in terms of uh you know like your pants how how close your belt loops are because if you have jeans or whatever you wear where the belt loops are really close together uh, this doesn't fit so well. Uh, wearing tactical pants, like 511 pants or something, typically have uh, certain types of pants that will have uh, bigger or more width between belt loops, so that's something to think about too. Overall guys, I'm uh, completely satisfied with White Hat Holsters, I think. They make some really good stuff. I mean, there's, there's hundreds and hundreds of brands of holsters and there's a whole bunch of good ones. You know, there's better ones that are just specific for uh, appendix carry all kinds of stuff but man you know I like leather I think it looks good you know I that, that's I've always kind of gravitated towards that look but not a lot of companies can pull it off and I think that white hat holsters really pulled off the perfect combo of you know kydex with leather leather and uh, man it just it, it's comfortable it, it's great the quality is great like I said you know it, smooth action of going in and out of the holster and uh, you don't feel it it fits well the clips work really well you know they they you know hook to the belt just like they're supposed to so I mean, everything about them is really great I love the holsters and uh, that's all I got to say about that one I'm trying to make this kind of quick but I'm trying to hit all the bullet points so if you guys have any questions about those holsters um, that I didn't mention in the video um, you know just post a comment and I'll try to get back to you. Or if you have something that I didn't say, you know, post in the comment. And if you like these videos, man, subscribe, hit the bell, you know, support the channel any way you can. And until next time, guys.